Hello, everybody. I feel less like death warmed over, but still feel pretty awful. But much better now than I did this morning. This morning, all I could think about was when I could go home sick. And then as the day went on, I got a little better. I got a little better. And I think I'm over the hump now, although you can tell I'm very nasally. So instead of coughing up stuff, it's all snot instead of phlegm. I think that's a step up, though. It's not in my lungs anymore. My cough's better, which is good because I was almost out. Believe it or not, I almost went through an entire package of uh, Walgreens cough drops that have a B on them. Why do they have the letter B on them? Google it. Interestingly, these expire uh, May 2010, so it's just as well that I'm down to my last two. But enough about my illness. A lot of things I forgot to talk about yesterday because I was even worse then. I've written them down. I'm going to address them one by one. I actually posted this to Google Plus and I'm copying uh, from there. Things I forgot to address. My playoff picks. I went 3-1. and one. I should have picked all four home teams, but I uh, doubted Tebow. I'm sorry. As an act of contrition, I will sort of Tebow. Is that it? That'll make Doug very happy, at least. Oh, yes. I don't know if you can see. One more day of shorts. It's 4.58 right now, 48 degrees. The high today was 53. And I actually went outside for about 10 minutes and didn't stare at the sun, but had my eyes closed and faced the direction of the sun. And when it wasn't super windy, it felt really good. And I'm sure it was sunlight that cured this cold. It put me on the path back to wellness. Well, it's probably psychological. But man, sunlight feels pretty good. I'm, I'm in favor of it, and I'm glad we had some today, as opposed to snow. Tomorrow, it'll be 20 degrees cooler. It's supposed to be 50 degrees cooler by Friday, I think. They said it was going to be zero, or in the single digits, but not a lot of snow, maybe an inch or two. Just enough to make driving really suck, I'm sure. Keep watching these videos, and you'll learn more about the weather in the Twin Cities metro area. Okay. What else did I have on my list? The new VU came out Monday. I still can't use it. What happens is there's a connection on some port, 1935. It's the same with YouTube, actually. I can't do capturing in real time on YouTube. I have to tape something and then put it up. They use the same port. I think it used to work, and I think the work firewall rules changed. And what I thought was supposed to happen, I'm going to cough, <coughs> is if you couldn't connect on that port, there's supposed to be a backup. Kind of like how AIM used to get around. If the AOL port was blocked, they'd put you on port 80 or port 13 or something like that. This is all techie stuff you probably don't care about, but... For some reason, the backup connections to port 80, port 443 don't actually happen, so I can't tape those videos. So we're stuck on VU, uh, stuck in limbo. Their Android client's going to come out soon, they say. When they do, uh, I will switch to my phone and do VU questions then. Till then, if you, you're dying to know something, you can always ask me, and I will address it here. On Friday... Do I have that window open? I do not. I posted a video. Shout out to my new subscribers, by the way. People I complete strangers to me. I got uh, someone called 1E2D3C4B5A. Very amusing. Thank you. And then YouTube sent me an email saying that someone subscribed to me, but they're not actually on YouTube, so I don't know how that works. I guess it's a Google thing or something. So thank you complete stranger who I don't even have a wacky username to make fun of. But when I posted my video on Friday, and I can tell them I have to pull it up, I got three comments in rapid fire from L-E-K. K. L -E -K. There I am. And I was going to address them, which I should have done yesterday, and I'm sorry. And it probably doesn't matter because you probably haven't seen it anyway. So, uh... She asks, are you on the clock at work? Uh, I'll talk more about that in a minute. 
Did you know that YouTube gives me the option to remix your lovely video? Yes, I'm using the Creative Commons license and try to set that on all my videos. I don't expect anyone to remix this video, but if you really want to do a supercut of me taking drinks, something like that, you certainly have the right to. I have so much trust in the internet community that I believe that this right will only be used for good and not for evil. Well, we'll see. My brother's probably the first one. Um, Ellie says, I'm your YouTube viewer. Your audience is appalled. Is that because I was showing you my knees? I'm sorry about that. Tomorrow, pants. Long sleeves. Cold. You aren't getting comments from YouTube, are you? I am, but not when you're typing them. This isn't live? No, this isn't live. Is this a live broadcast from YouTube? No. Is there such a thing? I reckon there is, but I we can't do it. Not with this technology, anyway. I'd have to be at home, probably. And when I'm at home, I'm on the Mac, and I have a crappy built-in camera and not an external one. And It's kind of why I don't do VU at home. It's kind of like why I do all this stuff here. And the earlier question about work, and Cerebus on the W also said, does your job know you can use, does your job know you use their bandwidth for this? Well, technically I use their bandwidth for this, but really it's just me uploading something. It's not different from anybody uploading any other file for any other deal. Although this doesn't have much to do with work. But the way it works is when I'm done for the day, that's when I do the video. So it's outside of work. I could do it before work started, but I never get here early enough for that to happen. So just expect it to always be uh, at the end of the day. I am leaving a little bit early. I operated on the assumption today was Wednesday for from waking up time until I stepped out the door and realized it wasn't Wednesday. And so not only was it Tuesday, but it's also election day here, and I forgot to vote. So I have to take off early, go vote, and then go to the Wolves game. Uh, taking on the Bulls, it's going to be ugly. I probably should stay home sick, but I don't think I'm contagious at this point, and why not? So I'm going to go watch the Bulls. You know, the Wolves seem to play to the level of their opponents. So when it's a really crappy opponent, they play down to their level. When it's a really good opponent, they play up to their level. And they did beat the Mavericks and the Spurs on a back-to-back. -back. This is the only back-to-back -to, -back to back of the year. This is game three of three. And they'll all be dog-tired probably. But with loyal fandom in the target center, the loudest fans in professional sports, we can get them over the hump and they'll beat the Bulls. They might beat the Bulls. Well, we'll see. Back on the W has asked if I ended up watching the basketball game or Raw. What I ended up doing was going home, watching the basketball game, and then involuntarily falling asleep because I was sick. By the time I woke up, the game was over and they'd lost. Uh, Raw was on the DVR. I watched it about an hour delay. But the live tweeting didn't happen, obviously, and there was great sadness. Although there were some call-outs for the clangy poles, and I appreciate that. It's nice to be known for clangy poles, I guess. Um, Cerebus wants me to turn the camera around. Let's see. What I used to do on VU is switch cameras between the one and the laptop. There's one, I think, at the top of this laptop. You probably can't hear me. And there we go. Really, if you want to see the office, the way to go is to watch my yogurt videos where they kind of go everywhere. But I haven't had yogurt lately. That's the problem with the inflation. Is you expect yogurt to be 50 cents, and when it's 60 cents, you can't get yourself to be psychologically able to buy it. But there was 40 cent yogurt at the store yesterday when I bought some orange juice to be sick with and I did buy some yogurt but I just haven't had the desire to bring it to work and eat it but sooner or later yogurt videos will return I know you're excited oh my god it's been nine minutes Ugh, I had some more stuff I was supposed to talk about it'll have to wait till tomorrow really isn't that the way that you want to do it is to keep some stuff in your pocket so that you will have more to talk about the next time sure but thanks to all of you. Uh, thanks to Andy for hitting like on Facebook. Thanks to all of you who are hitting like on YouTube. No one's hit dislike yet, but now that I've mentioned it, I imagine I will get at least one dislike before tomorrow. Um, thank you for playing. Uh, 
I want to stop this before 10 minutes, so I'm going to stop right now. But thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow.